Good day guys, Will Kitchen here and welcome back to a brand new video and it's a pretty exciting one. It's a, an exciting time of the year. It's winter as you can probably tell by my jumper, it's getting cooler and that means one of my favorite fish to target comes out to play and that is the Mighty Snapper. So what we've been doing lately is we've been fishing in close in a little bit shallower water, not far out from the Gold Coast at all and it's been super fun because we've been using really light jig heads and small sinkers floating down baits and soft plastics and the snapper have been absolutely smashing those on the drop. So I'll um, talk to you at the end about the gear, so make sure you stay tuned for that. A lot of people ask me about it, so I'm gonna go through the gear at the end, and also throughout the video, stay tuned and keep your um, ears peeled because there's gonna be plenty of little tips as well um, all the way throughout as we're catching the fish. I'm also actually filming a video right now um, as I'm posting this one about how to catch snapper on baits. I've done one on how to catch them on soft plastics and that technique, so I'll leave that link in the description, but subscribe and stay tuned for that video because I'm gonna share lots of little tips and the full technique of how to go out and catch snapper, whether you're a beginner or whether you wanna just improve your technique. So yeah, as I said, subscribe and stay tuned for that. Also, don't forget to leave a like rating and a comment on this video. All right, so when we're fishing for snapper in close here, they really bite before that sun's up. Nice early morning, so you're about to see us in the dark, and first drop, I already got onto a good fish, so here you go. Alrighty, that's not a bad start to the morning. First drop, about a 40, 45. It was too dark to film it, literally first drop. The sun is not even, even up yet. We're gonna go back up to the mark and try and get some more but that's a good start my brother matt was unlucky he hooked one as well and um put the hooks on it we went through a bit of a school it looked like a decent fish so we'll get up there try and get some more before um the sun gets too high in the sky we'll be pretty quick this is a good fish smash the plastic in the rod holder and that's onto it Get that tip up, Matt. It's pulling the boat around. It's a good fish, whatever it is. Just watch it on that motor. That's it. Just get it when you can. Just smooth lifts. Yeah, it'll be a good snap. Might be a dewy. Just take it easy now, you got him up. He's coming around. That's a cracker of a snap. Yeah. Woohoo! Alright, Matty. Look at that for a fish. Yeah, he's not happy. Look at how far down in his mouth that plastic is. You can just see the jig head there. Alrighty. What an absolute cracker. We're going to measure it in a second but he just absolutely smashed the plastic. Look at that. Big head on him, beautiful colors, really thick. And that's done well on the light gear, 12 pound braid. So how awesome is that? We're gonna get back up there and try and get another one. Woohoo! Okay guys, so as you can see here, after Matt landed that solid snapper, I went, geez, things are starting to get serious. Time to rip the jacket off. But before I could even deal with Matt's fish, we cast the plastic back out and straight away the bail arm was open, it was still dropping down, and Dad saw this bite. Oh, yeah. 
This one's on. Yeah. Another one. Plastic. We didn't even um didn't even get it down. It was still in free spool. We just cast it. Definitely not as big as the one Matt got last cast. Good that we're getting them while it's still early. Matt's on. Matt's on. Keep your tip up, Matt. Come on. As you can see, there's another one on the plastic there. You would have seen as it was dropping down, it was in free spool, and um, Dad saw it absolutely taken off. He clicked the bail arm over, and we were on. Hit it on the drop. So that's what they love to do. Just a little one, but hey, still a snapper. And if we're in close here where we are. That's awesome. We're going to keep going. It's pretty hectic fishing because you're on a bit of a timeline when that sun comes up they can just switch off so we're um Matt's got a rock caught <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna keep going I'll talk to you soon about just what we're it. doing and everything the technique but um yeah for now we're gonna keep fishing Show there. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah. Up, up on top of the bombies. We'll come across that. See how there's a couple of bombies there? Yeah. Right on top. Yeah. Yeah. I know I say it every video, every snapper video, but if you're new around here, this is what we use. We use two hooks snelled. Um, 20 pound leader and just a little ball sinker straight on top of the hooks and uh, yeah, baits of pilchard, squid, um, bonito fillet and um, the idea is to, to get it wafting down nice and slowly but um, have enough weight on there that it still gets down there into the zone you know in that zone between the bottom and 10 meters up so that's what we're doing Hopefully, um, on the way down, this gets absolutely crunched. Yep. yep. Not too big, but what have we got? That'll do. Yeah. Woohoo! That's a good bit of bycatch. The old Moses perch. Very, very tasty. So that's what I mean. In a lot of my videos, I say, you know, we're float lining with this rig, um, but you do still get your reef fish bycatch when you do get to the bottom. So that's the bonus of being able to slowly thumb it and float it down for the snapper. But if you do get past them and you, you end up down near the reef right on the bottom, then you get fish like that. So yeah, that's a good size one. Get another bait out there and yeah, the goal is snapper today. So we'll try and get a few more of those, but definitely not complaining with the old Moses perch. Woohoo! That's a nice Moses. Well, they are definitely some nice, tasty bycatch, that's for sure. Could be doing a lot worse. But no, that's two Moses now in two drops, so yeah, very nice. So we just went that last drift and um, didn't get a snapper for a fair while, so um, hopefully they're still biting. They should be. The sun's only just sort of come up. But the wind has started to get up a little bit, as you might be able to tell. But um, we'll keep persisting. It's a good show down there now. Hopefully, we can drop one right on top of it. That's a better, that's one. A better one, Matt. That's yeah, yeah, that's going. Well, it's going alright though, Matt. Do one for the bag. Yeah, it is. I think I can see it. Yeah, it's a snap. Mm, yeah, it'll make it. I think. There you go. Matt just got that nice one. 41 centimetres, so... Yeah, we hadn't ha we hadn't got one for a bit. The wind's got up and it's been giving us a bit of trouble, but... No, nah, that's good.
is why we bleed our fish. As you can see, that is just pure white. That's straight off the fish, not washed underwater or anything. That is amazing. So anyway, we'll take the rest of the bones out of that and keep going. But yeah, I just wanted to show you why we do it because look at that, I can taste it already. All right, guys. So I really hope you enjoyed that video. I did promise you I'd just talk really quickly about the gear we used and uh, everything like that because a lot of people ask. So as you would have seen, we have the soft plastic setup. That's really light. That is 12 pound braid and 14 pound leader. It works really well in the shallows. They, um, they don't get leader shy at all. And um, it still lands really big fish up to, you know, mid 70 centimeter size. With the soft plastic, we were using a half ounce jig head and a 3.0 hook. And we were using a three inch Z-Man minnows. That's, that's um, been working really well. And once again, even those small little lures land some really big fish. On the rods that you see us using bait with, we uh, prefer to use overheads because you know, you're slowly floating that bait down and when they grab it and take off with it, you really wanna quickly um, flick your reel into gear and set the hook. So that's why we use those overheads. You can really feel it on the way down and you feel the bite as soon as they grab it. And on those, we run 20 pound braid and 20 pound leader. And once again, that stops some, some good fish as well and, and all your other reef species too. As you would have seen through the video, we use a snell rig, two 4 hooks, and a small ball sinker on top just to suit the area you are fishing. Uh, but you want that bait just slowly dropping down. You want it to get down into the zone as slowly as possible. So you don't want it to just rock it down. You want it to, yeah, use a small sinker or no sinker at all if um, you're in a really shallow area and just slowly waft it down. Now, as I said, I'm gonna be filming a whole video talking about how to do it on bait. And I have already filmed a video on how to do the, the snapper on soft plastic technique. So as I said, click the link in the description and go check that out. But basically what we do is we cast it up current or up drift of the boat, I should say. And uh, we put that in the rod holder, leave it in free spool, let that plastic slowly waft down. And then when you think it's at your desired depth, just flick that bail arm over. You want it, you know, not right on the bottom. You want it between the bottom and, and 10 meters up. The ideal situation though, is it gets hit as it's dropping down. So while that line's rolling off your spool, just keep an eye on it because as you saw in the video, um, one of the snapper just grabbed it and all we saw was the line just peeling off and we had to click the bail arm over and hook it. So keep an eye out for that as well. That's the ideal situation. But yeah, if, um, if you don't get hit on the drop, just uh, click it into gear and you know let that rod in the rod holder, just sort of jiggle around with the swell and um, wait for it to buckle over, hopefully. All right, guys, I really hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, it was really fun to make and we've got some awesome snapper and jewfish ses sessions actually coming for you. So um, yeah, make sure you subscribe and stay tuned for those. We've got some awesome action on the way. Don't forget to leave a like rating on the video as well and a comment if you have any questions or thoughts and share it with your mates if you think they'd like it too. Alrighty guys, thanks so much if you've watched this far and I'll see you in the next video.